What's up guys? I'm Ray Perez. I wanted to tell you guys about uh, <clears throat> an event I'm participating in. This will actually be my second time participating in the uh, St. Baldrick's Foundation Shavathon? I don't, honestly, I don't even know what it's called. Uh, the first I heard of it was in 2011. On Facebook I saw that the RGV Killer Bees, the ice hockey team of the time, was going to participate in this event where the team players were going to shave their heads uh, in honor of uh, children with cancer, uh, children that are fighting against cancer, or any survivors, or anybody who's ever uh, been close to anyone uh, with cancer. I think this symbolically is, is an effort to um, empathize with the struggle. Uh, I had long hair at the time and I told myself, you know what? That's something that's personal and, and meaningful and although it's completely symbolic, shaving my head is <clears throat> nothing compared to the battle that these children and families go through so in no way am I trying to compare my life to somebody who's ever been through any of that at the time I had just lost a friend named Justin Lang and uh, another friend named Lulu Reina who I never met but I met her parents and I worked with someone from her family uh, I met him in some prayer groups and it, it got pretty intense and we prayed for this little girl and we got word that, you know, she was cancer free, but the chemotherapy had caused her immune system to collapse and there was a fungal infection in her nose and she died from that. And so, you know, people are going through just hard times trying to live to survive and we walk around each day like it's all nothing but it is something and we need to help fund the research for childhood cancer i don't know it's something like every three minutes in the world a parent is being told that their child has cancer and that's I mean, it happens, but we need to do what we can to help. And what I found was the St. Baldrick's Foundation raises money for research for childhood cancer. And at the time that I heard about it, oh, he looks so cute. Yes. At the time that I found out about it, I also did a little investigating. And I found out that one of the recipients of their grants was the Vanny E. Cook cancer center here in McAllen so in my hometown I was born in McAllen I live in Mission right here in our local area there was a program that was giving money for the local cancer center apart from the other stuff they do to fund cancer research that was what hit home you know Lulu who was the little girl that passed away was there and her parents developed a program where they would help families and, and give them rides and they had Lulu's face painted on the side of the van and I mean just what this little girl did through her bravery you know she would come on in videos and talk to people she showed her strength and she united people and you know the, I just wanted some way to contribute I just wanted to do something and I had long hair at the time and I said you know what, I'm going to shave my head, I'm going to try to raise some money, and you know what, I did, thanks to you guys, we raised $1,086 in 2011, <laughs> and we did it on behalf of Justin Lang, Julie Beltran, who's a friend of mine's sister, and Lulu Reina, three people that we were able to honor with our donations, with our time, with our thoughts and our prayers, and... You know, I saw that there's going to be another one again this year. In fact, just in a couple of days on March 9th at the Far Civic Center, uh, there's going to be another event, and I've signed up to be a Shavy. And so now I'm asking you to please donate some money. This year we raised our goal to 1500 If we were able to pass our $1,000 goal two years ago, I think we should be able to hit 1500 It's... 
just a small, you know, symbol of your support, your your sympathy for these families. We can't put ourselves in their shoes. I mean, we can't we can't even know what they're going through unless we've been through that. And this is the least we can do. March 9th, I'm going to shave my head. I'm asking you to donate some money for a good cause. St. Baldrick's Foundation, Childhood Cancer Research. And I'll go ahead and put the source in the um, about section. I really thank you for your time. I'm sorry for, for yapping. This is just all off the cuff. I didn't know what I was going to say, but I knew I wanted to say something. I wanted to talk to you guys, even if it's just through a video, to let you know why I'm doing this, what I'm doing, and how I need your help. So please, if you can, every dollar counts. There's no minimum. There's no maximum. Whatever you can give, it's to a good cause. I actually went back and looked online. And you can look to St. Baldrick's, uh, org, And then you can search for my name and donate right there. Or you can look at, at some of the, the grants that they've given, some of the recipients. And it'll show you on there. You'll even find articles uh, about how St. Baldrick's has given to the Vanny E. Cook Cancer Center here in McAllen. So it's it's not some random organization. You you don't have to be... Uh, well, yeah, you should be concerned about where you're giving your money. So yes, be concerned. Do the research. So far, I think they've received over 200000 from the St. Baldrick's Foundation. So I'm glad to say that I was a very small part we were a very small part, but we were a part of it, and we can do it again. Peace. Thank you guys for your time.